Hi everyone, today's video is about creating what if analysis in Excel in less than one minute. Analysts are often asked to create financial models or calculation that assess the impact of business decision, such as what if we increase price? What if we sell more? What if we discount? What's the impact to our sales and our bottom line? Therefore, as an analyst, it is very important that we have the skills to be able to perform this calculation quickly and accurately, especially if we want to be more productive at work. So what's the secret to be able to create what if analysis in Excel quickly in less than one minute? The four secrets to creating what if analysis in Excel quickly are as follows. Number one, start by creating your base case scenario. That's your uh, calculation of the situation today. If we are not doing anything different, what do things look like? Model it in Excel. That's your first step. This is our base scenario. We have total sales of 144,000, total profit of 84,000. Total sales is made up of units sold times price after discount. Total profit is made up of units sold times profit per unit. Uh, profit per unit is price after discount less cost per unit and the price after discount is recommended retail price less the discount and unit sold is customer inquiries multiplied by conversion. This base scenario will be the foundation of our future scenario analysis that we will do together. Once you are done with that, then make sure that the inputs are colored uh, differently from the output so that it's easy to distinguish which one is input and which one is output. I have purposely colored all of the input cells in yellow. Customer inquiry, conversion, uh, recommended retail price per unit, discount percentage, as well as cost per unit. And the outputs, I have colored them in green we have total sales and total profit this is an important step before you start creating the next step which is the data table in excel now when, when you're creating a data table in excel people often get confused which one goes as input and which one goes as output when you get the color right that's when it's helpful yeah? in this instance what if costs go up how much profit are we likely to make so we are going to create a data table together and before we do that there are two things that we need to outline uh, we need to outline the inputs and we need to link up the output when outlining the inputs lay it out as either a row or a column so in this first example i am laying out the cost assumptions as a row so the cost in the base is $15. Uh, what if it's 20 or 25 or 30? What will be the profit? So the profit uh, should be linked to the output, which is cell E19. Once everything has been laid out like this, I light the table and go to data what if analysis data table the row input this $15 20 25 and 30 should be linked to cost per unit and click OK voila you have your profit for various level of cost assumption so this is the first example of data table with row input. You can also lay out your inputs as columns. So in this example in here, I'm laying out the cost, which is $15, $20, etc. as a column. Yeah. And the profit can be put on the right next column, which is linked to sell E19, which is our total profit in here. And the same as before, 
we can highlight this whole table uh, go to data what if analysis data table but this time our input which is cost assumption is a column so click column input cell and link it to cost per unit and hit ok so that's um, the fundamentals of creating what if analysis in excel using a data table okay and then lastly is practice the more you practice the more you get better the first time you do something it's going to be hard it's going to be confusing but it's common don't give up keep on practicing so now that you know the secret let's get the timer started and let's do this together all right let's look at our first example what if we increase the discount rate how will profit change so let's say this if discount rate is is this 10 20 30 and 40 what will be the profit so the output that you want you link it to the profit sales and then highlight everything go to data what if analysis data table the input is a ROI link that to discount percentage click OK and we have our profit for various discount rate we are done now what if conversion rate changes how will profit uh, change so i've created what if analysis from conversion of 10 percent up to 100 percent and if we want to see how profit can get impacted just link um, the output to profit uh, let's color that light green and then highlight everything go to data what if analysis data table the column is an input cell link it to conversion and hit ok and we have profit for various level of conversion and you can test that if you put 90% you should get 189 it's the same as that congratulations we are done hope you have learned something new today uh, and that you will get to practice it in your day-to-day -day life and that you will find it useful <laughs>